Good morning, good morning. Hello, everyone. Wow, I've had quite a morning. Um, I hope you have your cup of coffee. I love this cup. This is a cup that my daughter actually gave me years ago. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but I'm definitely a cat person. I love all animals, love all animals, but I, I have had cats for years. So, and I just thought this was hilarious. <laughs> And it's purple, which is so funny. Okay. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for a new day. Oh, it's been such a powerful, powerful morning this morning um, with the Lord. You know, it's just, it's been great. And um, I'm excited about what I have to share with you today. Um, and I didn't know if I mentioned it or not, but I have been, this is actually um, a new Bible that I, that I just bought. I love the cover and everything. But what I like about it is that it has, um, it has the 365 days of Bible reading in it that you can do if you choose. It also, of course, it has, you know, the entire Bible in it. Uh, but it also has a devotion that is in it as well, along with your Bible reading, which I love because it's it's literally all in one. And it also even has um, a prayer that you can say to the Lord, or it also has, and it even has a love letter from God himself, which I read to you guys yesterday. But, um, but what I like about it too, is that it gives you an opportunity to also be creative if you choose, because there's plenty of room to be creative as you can see or if you just want to write a letter to the Lord a prayer you know journal whatever um, with this specific one I haven't really been doing a lot of creativity with it because it is my um, it is my go-to every single day now so right now I'm just using a lot of words I love my words so it's just a lot of words and and also I do a prayer to the Lord just confirming, you know, what I've read and, um, you know, the reflection that I'm getting from it as well. So I love it. I, you know, I think it's a great Bible. You can find it. You can find it online. It's really nice. I like it a lot. Um, okay. So um, today we're going to be talking a little bit about about fear, and I, you know, I do want to share that, you know, something that I that I heard from um, prophecies that have happened and you know and whether you believe in that or not you know it's totally okay um, but you know everything that's happening right now you know you know God is definitely shaking up the world he is shaking up all the nations for a reason and he's allowing it to happen because it because it was something that was prophesied and it's happening today and you know so he has your attention you know he has um, you know, he has awakened his people and he just wants our love. He wants our love. He wants our attention. He wants, he wants our praises. He wants us to glorify his name. And, and this is the time, this is the time to do that. And so the scripture that I'm going to read is actually from Matthew 11 and it's verses... Give me a second here. Where is it? 28 through 30. So, um, so yes, verses 28 through 30, which read this. And then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. And let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden that I give you is light. And I really like that. I think it's, um, again, you know, all of our burdens that we're carrying right now, you know, he's, he, his promise to us is that he will give us rest. You know, and I, I've said this before, you know, just to, to rest in his peace. Um, and just give him your, your, give him all your burdens. Give it to him. Just let it go and give it to him. Okay, 
So, something that I also wanted to share, and I apologize because I just totally kind of lost track here a little bit, but um, is that, um, you know, when I go back to the scripture actually back in verse 29 where it says, Take my yoke upon you. And let me teach you because I'm humble and gentle at heart and you will find rest for your souls. So what does that mean exactly? Take my yoke. You know, what does that mean to you guys? <clears throat> when you think about a yoke, um, you know, back in the day they used, it's, it was kind of like a harness that they would use to pull oxen. And so the way that Jesus describes taking his yoke is imagine yourself yoked with Jesus Christ. Just imagine that. And the yoke is his help in him doing all the heavy lifting, right? Um, accomplishing anything that was in harmony with him and his teachings. When we make our mistakes and we pray the price for our sins, we only need to have faith in him, repent, and then we're forgiven. But how do we yoke ourselves to the Savior? How do we do that? That's something for you guys to think about. How do you do that? You know, imagine again, imagine yourself yoked to Jesus Christ. I mean, oh my gosh, it's it's such a blessing to be yoked by him because I know that he is there for me and I know that he's taking care of my, my stresses and my worries and my burdens, you know? Um, so yeah, I just needed to share that with you guys. It was something that I read earlier when I was looking up. I like to to look up some words that kind of pop out the words that jump out at me and you know if I don't know too much about it or if I want more information on it I always look up I look up the words to read the meanings behind it I kind of do a little bit more research and a little bit more research further in how it's related to the Bible and to Jesus so just a little tidbit of info <laughs> um, so yes um, so the devotion is fear only God Matthew 10, 28 says, Don't be afraid of those who want to kill your body. They cannot touch your soul. Fear only God, who can destroy both soul and body in hell. And that doesn't mean to be afraid of the Lord. It just means to fear Him and love. So the love letter from God, beloved daughter or son, you never have to fear what will happen if you take a stand for me. Even... Oh, I just love that. You never have to fear what will happen if you take a stand for me. Even death can't keep you from eternal life because you belong to me. Live free of fear and fully committed to sharing my message of hope with the world that has no hope. And right now the world doesn't have any hope. Because you are my daughter or my son, I put my light inside of you and I want that light to shine before all those who know you so they can find me. Wow, it's, I, I just, it's just um, amazing to me how this scripture was put in my heart to share with you guys this morning. And then this devotion also um, was attached to it. Wow, how crazy is that, right? God just works in, in amazing ways. I just love how he amazes me every single day. I know what I ask of you comes with a cost, but if you make that sacrifice for my kingdom work, then you will gain so much more. Choose to trust me so you can be free from fear for the rest of your days, confidently knowing that I have you underneath my wing. Wow. So that right there, you know, imagine I immediately thought of a bird and I thought about the mother bird and her and her little, her little, I don't even know what to call them, chicklets. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's amazing how the mother bird protects her young. It really is. I mean, to the point of sacrificing her own life. It's just crazy. I mean, you, you know, if you Google it, if you actually just do a little bit of research on it, it's amazing and all the different kinds of birds out there and how they protect their young. It's just, it's, it's such a beautiful thing. And so imagine also being protected 
um, under Jesus wing, right? Don't ever be afraid of what will happen to you if you live for Christ. Even if you die for the sake of the kingdom, your legacy of faith and eternal rewards won't ever be taken away. And truthfully, it isn't what we live for, but what we're willing to die for that will leave a faith mark on the hearts of everyone who watches us live for Christ alone. Truth, faith, plus trust in God equals a life free from fear. Hallelujah. <laughs> who doesn't want to live free from fear? You know, just blow that fear away. <laughs> Well, guys, I hope that that was I hope that that was helpful to you today. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, you know, it is supposed today's the first day of spring, which I'm excited about that. And because I love the heat, and the heat's going to kill this virus, and we're going to be able to get back to to a more of a, a normal, you know, um, routine. You know, it's definitely not going to be normal anymore because that's the reason why things are being shaken up. It's going to be a little different for you. But you know what? Just lean on the Lord. And so I just want to wish you guys blessings today. Go out there and be a blessing to someone else because they definitely need it. And I love you guys. And I'll see you guys. Actually, you know what? Tomorrow is Saturday. I probably will not be doing a morning cup of Jesus tomorrow um, or Sunday. However, I will definitely be back again on Monday. I'll see you guys then. Have a great weekend. Bye.